In this video, we're going for the adventure. I have this camera that I'm going to unbox and review and try. So I'm going to show you a lot of footage from it. But first, let's unbox it. From the title, you already know what this is. I have been sent this by Camp Park, amazing company. I have been using their other wildlife camera, kind of like the trail hunting camera. And I was, um, I've been very, very satisfied. And this is an upgrade. So obviously it has a solar panel, as you can see on the picture. So we don't need any batteries. And it has a lot of different kind of features, which I'm going to cover and try in this video. So stay tuned. Um, it's going to be a nice adventure. We have the manual. That's the first thing. So this has dual lens design and starlight night vision. What it means is pretty much this is blowing my mind. So I have to try it to actually see like if it's real. During the night, you usually have black and white pictures, right? Or images or videos because of the night vision. However, in this case, they say that your pictures and images are going to be in color, even during the night. So that is absolutely mind blowing to me. And I'm definitely curious to see if this is true. You also have 4K resolution, which is awesome. And basically they also claim that there is no light during the night to scare your animals off. Because I can see sometimes when I record, I can see like the foxes look at the camera, you know, because they see the light, like a little bit of a, like a red light. So there should be not any light here when you record at night. So the animals are basically totally unaware of this beauty. Of course, you have Wi-Fi connection, app control if you download Wildlife Cam app on your phone. So I'm going to try that as well. Then we have uh, solar supply, as I mentioned, and 0 0.1 second trigger speed. This is crazy, okay? And of course, for any kind of weather, we have IP66. That's the highest ranking waterproof standard. Um, so that means even if it's pouring rain, nothing's going to happen. I would not recommend drop this in the water, but... I think up to three meters um, for a couple of, for like two minutes, it can hold it. But definitely rain and everything is great. Plus minus 20 to 60 degrees is totally fine. So even if you're at the Sahara or um, in a, a certain country that we should not name, it's going to be, well, it's going to be good. So the inside is usual. Okay, this is literally the same way that I had in the previous model. So we have a display, then we have the menu. Um, you put the SD card at the bottom as usual. And then we have USB charger, which is right here. And the usual straps. Um, oh, I like the... I wonder why what this is for. Is this is like for the iPhone, the card. Um, okay, so we used to have batteries here, right? So we put the AA batteries on here, which we don't need anymore because we have the solar panel. So before you start is insert memory card format, um, tear off all the protective films, remove obstructions. Um, you should charge the camera for eight hours before you use it. And of course, format the cards. I'm back from my wildlife adventures and I have used it and I have tried it and I can say one thing. So there are a couple of things that are amazing. There are a couple of things that are not. Number one, the solar panel works amazingly. So the idea is you also have the charging cable, which I was wondering like why. The reason for that is your so solar panel, and I believe this is true, um, can charge up to like 55% and that's it, which is plenty of time to keep it going because pretty much, you know, 
it's going to last the whole night. And then if you just leave it for a couple of days, it's going to recharge anyway. So that's pretty great. I'm impressed. Um, I think it would go to 100% if you actually charged it with the cable as well. Um, so, but I did not need this. I used it for a couple of nights and I had absolutely no problems with it. So I'm very, very happy about it. Um, another thing is, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video, which I obviously misunderstood, was the Starlight Night Vision. So basically, it doesn't give you the color for the night. Um, for I've done like a, a little bit of more research and I, f I think there are only like two cameras in the world that can actually do that, which is not this one. It's kind of like a military camera. Basically, when I read into it a bit more, I found out that when you have like a, like a dusk or dawn, so you have more light, but it's not totally pitch black, then you can actually use this technology and it gives you more colors. Um, but it doesn't give you color for the night. Having said that, uh, I used it for the night and the image quality is impressive. I have to say the detail, the sharpness, the clear image of that, um, of that shot, whether it's photography or videography, but especially videos, I was very impressed. I was like, and I didn't even go for 4K um, because I was, I wanted to run it for like 12 hours. Um, and even though like I had a small SD card, so that was the reason, but full HD looks amazing. So 4K has to look brilliant. So I wanted to show you how it is via app because one of the, one of the selling points is you can connect it to your app and see it live online. Because this is a new product, when I try to connect to the app, um, it has no app support in my country, meaning the UK. So I could not actually download any kind of app for this product yet. And to be honest, the camera was running for so many hours, but still the percentage, like as soon as the sun went up, like we had the sunrise, it started charging again. So. It was up, like, I was very happy with this um, because I didn't like to buy the batteries over and over again. Like, I didn't find it handy or environmentally friendly. Sensitivity, by the way, I have to say this because this is so funny. So, PIR sensitivity in the menu, you're going to see that. Um, you can set it to high, medium or low. And by design, by default, it's on medium. And I changed it to high. I was like, I want everything you know in it and the funny thing was that i am showing you the footage now i have recorded like wasps i have recorded like a uh, flies and it was just this is the high sensitivity mode okay so if if you had like medium or low only it would only record like foxes or bigger animals because obviously it took me a lot of um, it took a lot of storage because flies and wasps just fly so often and it was crazy i came back and i had like 100 videos and i was like why so just as you know just to keep that in mind then you have more monitoring period as um it is pretty standard so obviously you can set the time for like between 2 a.m to 5 a.m or something like that i find it super helpful um, and I used it a lot. It doesn't fail. It never fails. And once you set it, it's done. Um, the usual mode, it's photo, video, or just photo, or just video. Personally, I use photo and video at the same time. So first it takes a picture with the first sensitivity uh, catch, and then it starts recording. So the recording of the footage, you have options to... Um, record up to 4k as i said however uh, video length so if i want to go i don't know what's the maximum because i can go like i can just press this and go above one minute which i think one minute is kind of like border borderline because um if you record like two minute or three minute video every time you have motion that recording doesn't stop so once the camera is triggered the recording starts so i would say it's basically um, between 30 to 60 seconds. It's totally fine. 
Um, and I tried 60 seconds and I have recorded probably like 50 videos or something like that. And I was using 64 gigabytes um, SD card and I still had like plenty of space. It was, it was all good. I used this camera in the rain as well. Totally fine with the solar panel, no issues. And I think the last thing that I'm going to say is you see the temperature when the camera is recording. So it, it measures the temperature of the outside. And because of the solar panel and because of it, it gets the heat throughout when you charge it during the day, it cannot really measure the temperature correctly until it gets kind of cold again and to a, like an optimal temperature. So before I continue, it's I have to say that you can have it at direct light. It gets kind of warm, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't explode or something. So it's totally fine. But also you don't have to have it at direct sunlight. You just put it like um, somewhere where you will see when you're charging, if you're not sure, like if you're in the shade, you know, it still charges, by the way. But if you're not sure, when you charge, this light is going to light up for as a, as a red light. So even if you put it in the shade in, during the daylight, it's going to charge, but it needs like a sunlight, like an actual daylight. I don't charge it with my artificial light. Personally, I do not... <laughs> Um, uh, battery. Uh, personally, I do not care if, um, if I don't have the correct temperature from the outside. Like, um, and also I did have correct temperature, but it took like one or two hours, um, until the camera cooled off. Um, so yeah, this is basically just it. Go to the description of this video and I put the link where you can buy this camera if you want it. Um, I think it's going to last you. I have the previous model and it's lasting for so long like i had never issues with that um yeah check out the link in the description if you want to buy it uh, let me know if you have any questions you can comment below and um, yeah i hope you enjoy and subscribe for more